Good afternoon guys, this is Carlos. We're actually in today um, to read another story. If this is the first time you are on our YouTube channel for the first time, welcome. Thank you so much uh, for joining us. Feel free to click on the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel. Uh, click on the, on the bell right beside it to get all of our latest updates from our, all of our videos. Feel free to look at our videos on our YouTube channels from our previous stories. Story number one was Zoom. Story number two was Come and Play With Us, The Adventures of CNP. And story number three was Nathan's Wish, as well as story number four is Kenny's Window by Maurice Sendak. But if you haven't seen the previous three stories, feel free to look at our previous three stories. We really appreciate it. If you go and check that out, check on our YouTube channel, please subscribe. Please also put some comments below on our previous video, comments below on this video. Let us know what you like about the story, what you like about the activities, uh, what are your suggestions for, for, for the next couple stories uh, for you guys. Or um, if you want to hear of, of a story of your own, the story that you really like, or a story that you want us to, to read with you together, please give us a comment below and let us know on our, on our on comment below to let us know what you thought about um, the stories or if you have any questions. All right. So on today activity, I would like to see um, if everyone can share a dream, whether it was from previous nights or maybe from uh, tomorrow morning where you wake up, you can share the dream that you have uh, dream, have dreamed the night before with your parents. That would be great if you can share it face to face with mommy and daddy, or maybe you want to do an activity, or maybe uh, grab a piece of paper and and uh, put a couple of words together and share with mom and daddy about about the biggest words in the, in, that um, describe the dream that you have uh, had the opportunity to dream the night before or previous night before. But let's start with this uh, with the story Kenny's Window by Maurice Sendak. And uh, uh, before the end of the video, uh, we will recap a little bit about about this this. Uh, story. We're not going to read the whole entire story. We're going to read it by parts. It's going to be in seven parts. Uh, th today is going to be part one and the next week part two and the week after part three and the week after part four. So we're going to do it into parts, right? Into seven parts. Uh, so then you can uh, stay tuned and follow up the parts in this book. All right. I'm excited today and let's let's get cozy together uh, in, in our our cozy blanket, uh, cozy bed with a little snack right beside our, our, our bed, bed, bedside table and, uh, and, and hear what Kenny's window story has to say. In the middle of a dream, Kenny woke up and he remembered a garden. I saw a garden in my dream, thought Kenny, and a tree. There was a tree covered with white and blossoms and above the tree shone the sun and the moon side by side. Half of the garden was filled with yellow morning and the other with dark green night. There was something else in my dream, thought Kenny, and he tried to remember. A train, he said, and a rooster with four legs, and he gave me something. There was a train puffing its way through the garden, and in the caboose sat a rooster with four legs, and he gave Kenny a piece of paper. Here, said the rooster, you have seven questions, and you must find all the answers. If I do, 
asked Kinney. May I come and live in the garden? But before the rooster could answer, the dream ended. Here is I, Kenny, speaking and talking and, and speaking with the rooster and in the train with the caboose about the piece of paper with the seven questions. Let's continue, guys, and see what happens in the next couple of pages. Kenny sat on the edge of his bed and thought about the dream. It would be nice to live in such a garden. In the morning, I could sit. In the night time, half of the garden and count the stars. And at night, I could play. In the morning time, half of the garden, and I never have to go to sleep. I'll find the answers to the seven questions and... The questions! Kenny shouted. I left them in the dream. Kenny shut his eyes. I'll go back, he thought, and find him. He turned over his side and something crackled in his pajama pocket. It was a piece of paper. Kenny pulled uh, pull it out of his pocket. The seven questions, he said. I had them all the time. That's Kenny with the piece of paper reading seven questions and realizing that he had them all the time. Let's see what happened in the next page, guys. The question, the first question for Kenny is, can you draw a picture on the blackboard when someone doesn't want you to? I'm going to draw a picture on the blackboard, said Kenny one morning, and I, I will call it a dream. He picked up a piece of yellow chalk and began to draw. No, said a voice, you cannot draw on the blackboard today. Why not? asked Kenny. Because, said the boys. Kenny looked under the bed and there he found his teddy bear sitting in the dark. What are you doing down there, Bucky? Bucky was Kenny's oldest and best friend, and he slept with him every night. And he only had one glass eye. So guys, this Kenny. If you can see, yeah, Kenny, if you can see here. Uh, drawing the chicken until this best friend and all this best friend has telling him no you cannot draw the chicken miss mr. Kenny we'll see what happens between Kenny and and uh, Bucky guys let's continue and see what happens you left me here all night said Bucky I must have forgotten said Kenny I'm so sorry you never forgot before said Bucky. Don't you want to come out now? asked Kenny. And watch me draw a picture? No, said Bucky. I won't come out and you are not able to draw the picture. Well, I don't care, Kenny said. And he threw the piece of chalk as hard as he could on to the floor. The piece of chalk broke in 20 yellow pieces. Kenny walked slowly up to the window, scraping his feet along the floor. What's the matter? asked one of the lead soldiers that, are, that were on the window ledge. Bucky, up to his old tricks. Last night, said Kenny, I forgot and didn't take him to bed with me. Is he very sad? The second lead soldier asked. Kenny's mouth began to tremble. He won't even let me draw a picture on the blackboard. Don't worry, said the second so lead soldier. We will think about something. Kenny waited, hopefully. 
So here is Kenny speaking with number lead soldier number one and soldier number two. Speaking about Bucky's how Bucky he's a little bit mad about the situation. We'll see what happened on the next one guys. I have an idea, shouted the first lead soldier. Write him a, po a poem about how nice he is. Kenny said, good. And he found a pencil and a piece of paper and started to think. How do you write a poem, he asked. Do you think of a nice word, said the first lead soldier, and, it and, and rhyme it with a lot of other nice words until you come to the end. Like bear scare? Asked Kenny. That's not very nice, said the first lead soldier. So Kenny thought so more and, and more, and after a lot of scratching and erasing, he finished the poem. He said thank you very much to the soldiers and went back to Bucky. Kenny poked his head under the bed and began to read. For Bucky. Bucky is my teddy bear. He has short and curly hair. And on the bus he pays no fare. And he lost one eye. But I don't care. I love my Bucky. Teddy bear. The end. Kenny. Bucky didn't say a word. But Kenny felt that everything was now all right. He carefully pulled Bucky out of, from under the bed and laid him down on the pillow. Then he covered him with a blanket. Watch me, Bucky, Kenny whispered, and he walked, lifting his feet up high to the blackboard. He picked up a piece of yellow chalk and drew a picture of Bucky sitting on the back of the rooster with four feet. Kenny turned to Bucky and said, Do you know what you say to the rooster? Bucky didn't answer. You say, Can I have a ride on your back, rooster? Because you have a four feet and can run very fast. And the rooster answered, of course, Bucky, and when you're on my back and I'm running like the wind, you can tell me stories that only you know. Bucky looked as though he was sleeping, but Kenny knew that he heard every word. So, guys, this is the, the drawing of Kenny on the blackboard. He drew the chicken. And how Bucky was riding on the ch on the chicken's back. So pretty much this is the end of part one, guys. And uh, what I learned about this story and what I wanted you to uh, to read it with me is how important it is of the dream. Uh, Bucky had the opportunity to to um, draw the dream of the four-legged chicken that that she that he remember and he didn't want to forget it so he he had the opportunity to draw it he was a pretty good drawing and and he he draw it on a piece of paper but during that time he um bucky when he was his old and best friend uh was a little bit sad with kenny because he forgotten him under the bed so bucky decided to create a poem right how we read it on the story how he created a, a poem of how Bucky was, uh, even though he had one glass eye, he was still uh, Kenny's best friend, and Kenny didn't mind at all. So then after they read the poem, Kenny took him out of bed and put him, um, uh, let him lay down with him on the bed and put him in a blanket. I think, I think the important part of the story is, um, despite of, of the, little bit of an argument that uh, Kenny and Bucky had they were able to resolve it but also the main part of it is and what I wanted the activity that I wanted you guys to do today uh, is if you guys do remember what you dreamed tonight please share with your mommy and daddy about what you did what you dreamed 
because it is beautiful. Your mommy and daddy will probably love what you have dreamed. Uh, and if you want to express it in some way, do what Kenny did. Draw it on a piece of paper. You don't have to draw perfectly fine. This is actually simple drawings with a little pair. Uh, well, simple drawings. They're not too hard to draw. And they don't have to be like this. They can be even like uh, just a circle and a line and a couple things. So then you can describe it where the, uh, your dream. And I guarantee you, your mom and daddy will love to hear that dream. I think it's important for us to share our dreams and to do this activity as a family. I hope you enjoy this story. Feel free, feel free once again to hit subscribe to let us know what you think about this part one. Please look forward to the part two, which is coming up uh, in the next uh, week or so. Uh, it's going to be part two, which is the second question that the rooster has asked to find the answer, to for Kenny to find the answer. Um, that will be the question number two, and we'll see what it's all about. This is, once again, Kenny's Window um, by Maurice Sendak, and I hope you have enjoyed part one, uh, and, and please enjoy your night, sleep well, and we'll see you next time. Take care, guys.